Pollinate Energy is a social business based in India and we work to improve the lives of India's urban poor. And we do this using a network of micro distributors or pollinators who provide door-to-door -door service selling and maintaining solar lights to urban slum communities. So we address a wide range of needs. We address the health implications that come with using kerosene. Um, kerosene has a lot of detrimental impacts on livelihoods. So for example, they restrict a, a child's ability to study at night. They inhibit people from working when the sun goes down. Um, there's a greater risk of fires in the home as well. So replacing kerosene with solar lights uh, will mitigate all of those effects. Replacing kerosene also reduces carbon emissions. Um, kerosene is sort of the low hanging fruit of, of climate change. So that's a, a, a obvious place to start when you're looking at climate change mitigation. We recruit local Indian men and women um, and we give them what we call a business in a bag. So we give them intensive and ongoing training. We give them um, smartphones that have a cloud management data system. We give them rotating stock and service support. Um, and we equip them to go out into the slum communities and, and run their own business, providing door-to-door -door service to, to slum communities. Pollinators will sell our products uh, for between 30 to 45 Aussie dollars. Um, they give customers a line of credit, which makes it affordable to people who are at the very bottom of the pyramid. We are selling a range of products. We're selling three different types of solar lights. We've also recently introduced improved cook stoves and water filters into our product range. And we're trialing menstrual cups and and, um, and toilets and shelters and solar fans. Um, we operate as a business, so we are financially sustainable once fully operational in a city. And it takes us sort of between six to, to 10 months to be fully operational in a city. Um, and we are looking to expand quite rapidly. We're now fully operational in Bangalore. We're expanding into Hyderabad in a couple of months. Uh, and by 2020, we want to be in all of India's tier one cities. Thank you.